is two nanometer. Well, it's two nanometers a name, and it's all about the density. The density, huh? It's leading edge. It's leading edge. It's leading edge. What's your minimum specification? If you want an independent cloud services provider for home servers, VPNs, or clients, consider Linode and sign up today at linode.com slash techtechpotato for a free $100 60-day credit. A recent Gartner Performance report shows Linode's topology offers almost double the database performance per dollar than other public cloud services. So you join me here in one of IBM's labs. This place, tons of machines, you'll probably see a lot of content coming out of here over the next few weeks. But what I really wanted to show you is this. Now, what the most popular video on my channel to date is a video talking about IBM's two nanometer chip design. Now, there's been some argument, is it really two nanometer? Now, you know, two nanometer is obviously not a dimension. It's actually an indication of the density. But uh, it's been a year since then, and uh, this is still that wafer that they used in those promo shots. Um, it's still in uh, research, it's still in the research phase. They're still trying to get it into a situation where it's uh, production level ready. This wafer here, and some chips I'll probably show you in B-roll, um, what is on these chips is a number of test vehicles, essentially, speaking to some of the VPs here. A standard test vehicle chip has over 4,000 different devices on board that they need to check you know, for reliability, for performance, for yield. And uh, some of them are thousands of transistors big, some of them are millions of transistors big. But when you have something like this, you obviously need to test everything. Now, I think if we did a die per wafer calculation, that's number of dies per wafer, not a die per wafer. Um, you know, this is considerable. It's the size of a, a good high-end Xeon chip, probably, you know, monolithic at least. And you can see through the diffraction grating just how many different elements there are on this wafer. Um, I've already taken several photos of uh, me trying to bite this thing, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, but you notice that the wafer is also in incredibly thin. This is being used, obviously, for demonstrations. This is why I'm able to hold it kind of without gloves. This isn't going to be diced. But uh, we have seen wafers that have been diced. Now, because these are so on the bleeding edge, um, the dyes that they've actually diced from wafers like this, <laughs> they've diced by hand. I do not want to have that job because uh, you can probably guesstimate how much these things cost, right? If a leading edge um, five nanometer or four nanometer wafer from TSMC costs about 20 grand and they produce thousands upon thousands of those every week, how many of these do you think IBM produces in a week? Um, yeah, we're probably looking at about 100K worth of, you know, it's not production silicon, it's not stuff that's gonna go into a product, so perhaps it doesn't really have a value like that. But there are only a few of these. Uh, IBM's obviously had a year to work, work on it. Um, we've had a tour of the fab where they actually make this stuff and in, in its bright yellow glory. They only have one EUV machine, but it's constantly being updated. Um, it's a EXE 3400B, I think. And because it's used for research, that's on the machine here, isn't limited in throughput. If it's in like a TSMC or an Intel or a Samsung or a Micron, their goal there is you know, to maximize throughput. Whereas in a research facility, it's, it's more about uptime. I was told that, say, a machine goes down for a day. If it gets back up to full speed, it clears the backlog in either two or three days. So it, it's not that, you know, balls to the wall that the other fabs do. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're spending time here. Uh, <laughs> Wendell was behind the camera. Hello. And uh, we're spending time here with IBM. They're showing us all their latest stuff. You no, know, not only this. Um, uh, hopefully there'll be a video about an 18 inch wafer as well, I've got some interesting stuff about that. And heterogeneous integration, that's all the packaging, is in the lab next door and we're about to go into there next. So uh, stay tuned for more content here from our trip to Albany. Like, oh wafers, they're moving! 